Hi everyone and welcome to the channel. You probably saw, if not my video, someone else's video or a story online last night that Pokemon Home is now live. Uh, go check out my previous video if you want. So now that Pokemon Home is live, let me answer everyone's number one question, which is how do we get our 3DS Pokemon over to Pokemon Home? First of all, you should know, you only need Pokemon Home on your Switch to be able to do this. You do not need the mobile app. However, you cannot do this in the free version of Pokemon Home. You have to have the paid version. So in order to get the Pokemon Home app, let me show you how to do that really quickly. In case you don't know, you wanna to go to the Nintendo eShop. You're going to search for Pokemon Home on the eShop, guys. And then you're gonna go over to Pokemon Home. You'll notice it's a free download on the eShop, but like I said, you need the paid version. So on your Switch, if you haven't downloaded Pokemon Home before, then you come back here and you enter the app after it downloads. Please note, this could be a lengthy download. If you'd like to download the mobile version as well, people have been having a hard time finding it. Whether you have Android or iOS, you can go into the App Store and look for Pokemon Rumble. Then from Pokemon Rumble, click on Pokemon Company, and you can see all their apps and Pokemon Home underneath there. So that's how you can get it on mobile. But like I said, everything we'll be doing in this video, guys, is only using the Pokemon Home app on the Switch. So if you've never used Pokemon Home before, it'll log you in just like this, and it'll have you select your language, walk you through it. But if you have used Pokemon Home, it'll look like this. If you don't have the paid version, guys, you go over here to settings or options, and then you click the option that will let you go to the premium plan, let you go to the eShop. And then you go to the eShop, you can get one month for $3, three months for $5, or a year for $16. I got the year. Also note guys, in your 3DS, you have to update Pokemon Bank, and that can take even longer than the lengthy Pokemon Home download. So make sure you have Pokemon Bank updated. Then your Pokemon Bank screen should look like this. Uh, if you look on the left here, and your Pokemon Home screen should look like this. I'll show you what it looks like without the 3DS. This is your screen, so you're gonna go ahead and hit A, which is move. Then you're going to hit begin move, and then after that warning sign comes up, or right before, guys, you go over to Pokemon Bank on your 3DS, and you open it up. You'll hit the start button to go into Pokemon Bank. I do have Ultra Moon cartridge inside my 3DS right now, but you don't need to have a cartridge in. Even if you have no game cartridge in, It'll allow you to transfer Pokemon Bank. Keep in mind that Game Freak is offering a free month of Pokemon Bank with Pokemon Home. So if you've never had Pokemon Bank before, you can get it for free. So now here, if you've updated, you'll notice there's a new option that says move Pokemon to Pokemon Home. Obviously, that's the choice that we want. Every single Pokemon ever made can be moved to Pokemon Home, guys. So not just the Kanto starters, not just Lola starters, every Pokemon ever. Only some of them can be moved to Sword, at least for now. Sword and Shield. So it says you're about to send some of your Pokemon to Pokemon Home. Please note that you won't be able to bring your Pokemon back to Pokemon Bank. Please check the official Pokemon Home website for details. What this is saying is that this is a one-way transfer, guys. Make sure you don't ever want these Pokemon on your 3DS again because you won't ever be able to get them back on your 3DS if you transfer them to Home. So if you're okay with that, you're actually gonna scroll down and hit begin. I hope you guys love that thumb reveal. Then you actually transfer by entire boxes and you can preview what Pokemon are in the box. Now I already brought over uh, a complete <clears throat> set of gen one through seven over to Pokemon Bank. So I'll show you guys that in a second. So right now I'll just pick a couple random boxes to transfer over just so I can show you. And then when you're done, you'll hit Y Move these Pokemon to Pokemon Home? Yes. So it's asking me on my 3DS, you can see right there for a moving key. So let me show you guys where you get the moving key. You'll hit yes, you want to begin the preparations. And right there you can see it's showing you on the screen that you're gonna have that moving key that we already have up. You hit ready. And even if your 3DS isn't completely set up, you're still okay because it's going to end up looking like this. It'll give you the option to display. Don't hit that display till you're ready to type in the code. But we are ready to type in that code right now, so we will do that. Okay, so we just got the moving key typed in exactly as it was shown to us. And it said our moving key has been confirmed successfully. And over here in Pokemon Home, you can see that it says the moving key has been entered in Pokemon Bank successfully. Move preparations will begin. So I'll hit OK over on the 3DS. 
and it says, all right, time to get your Pokemon all moved into their no new home in, well, Pokemon Home. It might take a little time to finish, so sit tight. Over on our Switch, it again confirms you will be unable to use Pokemon Home until the move complete. So literally, guys, if we try to go back into Pokemon Home right now, immediately, I'll show you what happens. You can see our 3DS is just disconnecting. You can go immediately back into Pokemon Bank if you want, and as you can see, uh, there was a little edit because I slammed into the microphone, but it literally, uh, I logged immediately back in, and it didn't even get to show you guys the screen that says if it's taking some time. So it immediately moved all 46 of those Pokemon uh, into Pokemon Bank. I'm sorry, into Pokemon Home. So now our 3DS part is done. I'll show you guys. It'll let you go right back into Pokemon Home as usual. You just won't have those Pokemon that you transferred already. But other than that, uh, you'll be good to go. So I'm gonna remove the Nintendo DS cam from the screen. So with that removed from the screen, guys, you're all done with your 3DS now. You can just go right into Pokemon Home, and I'll show you guys those boxes with those transferred Pokemon. So now when you're in Pokemon Home, you can see, guys, I've deposited over a thousand Pokemon now, and I've got 726 registered in my Pokedex. I still haven't transferred over some of the Sun and Moon and some of the Galar Pokemon, but I'm pretty much on my way to a national dex. I'll show you guys right now what it looks like inside of Pokemon Home, and then I'll show you what it looks like when you transfer from Home to Shield. Again, you do not need the app to do this. So right here, you can see I've got a couple rare Pokemon, uh, Tapu Koko, uh, <clears throat> a couple of the Gen 5 starters. These weren't the ones I just transferred, though, so these were the two random boxes I just transferred. You can see everybody's here. We even got a uh, Froakie. You can go in, check summary. When you hit Y, it will show the EVs. He has not been EV trained yet. And then when you hit Y again, if you have the premium version, which you have to, if you brought them from your 3DS, it'll show their IVs. And right now, this um, Froakie doesn't have the best IVs. Uh, they're not bad. They're not great. Obviously, if they were six IV, you would if they were max IV, they would say best. So that's all well and good. And you guys can see I actually have in order here. I think I've got a shiny Jirachi even. I've got a shiny Mewtwo, which nice is. The shinies in this guys, their sprite will show that they're shiny. Unlike Pokemon Sword and Shield, where the sprite does not show that they are shiny. So to quit, you want to hit the plus button because that actually saves anything you did, unless you want to exit without saving changes. And then I'll show you how we go to transferring these over to Sword and Shield and how we actually can tell if they're able to be transferred. So I'm going to choose my Pokemon Sword game, which I've played for, what's that, one or two hours? I've played it for a couple hours. We will connect to this game. And right here, uh, you can see these are all Pokemon that are in the Sword and Shields game, so it will let me transfer. Now, some of them have these weird exclamation points. I haven't figured out what that is yet. Uh, it has a move that's not in the game. That is so these little exclamation points, guys, these will be above Pokemon that have learned a move that has been cut in Sword and Shield. So that's why those have that. So if you delete that move, um, you should be fine to use them in Sword and Shield, but until you do, uh, you're kind of out of luck. Right here, you guys can see, I can transfer all these over. The one, only ones I can't are the ones that have moves that aren't in the game. Like this one has Foresight, this has Hidden Power, this has Hidden Power, Hidden Power, Hidden Power. But the ones that don't have those moves, like this Ivysaur, that Charizard, and this Squirtle, can all be transferred over. Um, as we're scrolling through, you'll notice that all the ones that are in Sword and Shield can be transferred over. There's that symbol, the red slash of those that can't and the exclamation point of those that just have an illegal move on them. What is very interesting is we can transfer Mewtwo, Mew, which we already could from the Pokeball Plus. We can transfer Celebi. You already saw that we could transfer Jirachi. And I know we can also transfer Keldeo. So I'll look and see if there's anything else in here that was not in Sword and Shield that we can't transfer. So Garchomp we know is coming in the second DLC. We can't transfer him to Sword and Shield yet. It looks like we can transfer the Western or Eastern form, whichever one is not in Sword. We only have the blue one in Sword. It looks like we can transfer the pink version of Shellos and Gastrodon over to Sword and Shield, and that is awesome. I will be doing that for sure. Oh, oh, even over here we can see if, if the Pokemon are shiny or not. Yeah, these are my competitive shiny Pokemon that all their sprites show as shiny. So, uh, this is interesting. 
Cobalion, Terrakion, Virizion, all can be transferred over to Sword and Shield, as can Zekrom and Reshiram. That's pretty huge, and Keldeo. These are extra legendaries I have, guys. So Celebi, Mewtwo, Jirachi, they're all good, including my Shiny Mewtwo and Shiny Jirachi. Legendary Birds can't be brought over yet. Keldeo is good to be brought over, though. Reshiram and Zekrom are again good to be brought over. And that looks like about it for legendaries and mythicals that you can bring over right now. And of course, the Gen 7 starters can all be brought over. I've actually already brought uh, a lot of them over so I can start breeding and get some 6 IVs myself. So let me just show you the final step in this process, guys, of getting your Pokemon over to Sword and Shield. You can see I took the liberty of going ahead and bringing over those legendary dogs uh, over to the Sword and Shield so we can test those out. And I've already transferred, this was my G-Max box, one of my G-Max boxes. I've already transferred over a bunch of the starters. Um, let me do three fresh ones just for you guys. So you can see how they work. We'll do those right in the bottom right hand corner of this box. And let's bring this um, other form of Shellos over as well. So what you do is you drag them over to your game. This is the box they're in. So G-Max 2, uh, Milsuri, so it's right in between those two boxes. It's in my regular G-Max box. So now what we do is you hit the plus button to save. If you don't hit, if you don't save the changes, it'll, it'll all default back into Pokemon Home. It says your boxes have been saved, so we can hit OK. We can exit out, close the software, and go into Pokemon Sword. And let me show you guys that those Pokemon all transferred over. So our game is loaded up here, guys. We're going to go right to our Pokemon. We're going to go, you can see I have a Litten right here from being transferred earlier. We'll go right to the box that was in our Pokemon home. And boom, there they are. There's all those. Here's the new ones that we just brought over. Rowlet. Yes, we have the other form of Shellos. That is amazing. Eastern form, Western form, not sure. This one's a 6 IV. That Rowlet's pretty decent. Uh, and then we have these legendary dogs, the all with Justified. I don't know when they're going to be allowed and competitive, but this is pretty incredible, guys. As you can see, definitely drop a like if you got something out of the video, if you found it helpful. And consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. I can keep you up to date on all the latest Pokemon and gaming news. Thank you so much for watching, and everyone, have an awesome day.